Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got something really interesting, we got a physique update of Hadi Japan right now. So he posted a couple of shots, and this one is, as you can see, as he says, today at rest. I'm not sure what the part rest means, I don't think it was a rest day for him, because obviously the photo was taken in the gym, so he's probably training. I guess it means that he's taking time off of, you know, supplements, he's resting his body that way. He's taking a little break, and considering that, I mean, really, how much can a body change in two weeks? Basically, he still has the same size, the same conditioning, he's a little bit watery, a little bit softer, he doesn't have that roundness and hardness that he had on stage, but he's still good, he still looks very good, and there isn't much time to lose, really. Can he really afford, you know, some real downtime? If he wants to win the Mr. Olympia again, I don't think so, not really, he needs to stay on it. And here is another photo, and here you can see that his conditioning is still there. He didn't lose basically any of it, he's still ripped, like I said, a little bit maybe softer, but still looking amazing. And we have another confusing caption, off and on, with a laughing emoji. What does this mean? I'm not gonna even try to decipher how this caption here, but... This got me thinking, what would it take, really, for Hadi to regain his Mr. Olympia title? Nobody in the history has ever done such a thing aside from Jay Cutler. Arnold Schwarzenegger came back and won it again, but he never lost. Hadi lost it, and he wants to win it again, and based on what he brought to the Arnold Classic Ohio, everybody thinks that he can do it, that if he looked like that at the Mr. Olympia, he wouldn't even lose it. Now, of course, there is the question of politics, whether the powers to be actually decided to remove Hadi from the position of the best bodybuilder in the world, because he is not the ideal representation of bodybuilding, he doesn't speak English, he's not based in the United States, and Derek Lansford is all that, so there is that. Personally, I don't think that's happening, I don't think the judges are corrupted, maybe I'm naive, I just don't think so, I think Derek won fair and square, but can Hadi dethrone him and beat him again? We all know and remember very well what Hadi brought to the Arnold Classic Ohio. I don't need to remind you when his backside, basically the reason why he lost to Derek Lansford, was much improved. But was it this good? Was it close to this good? I don't think Hadi is ever gonna look this freaking crazy in the back poses. I don't think his back is ever gonna get this freaking wild this wide and this hard and also the glutes i mean this kind of depth of the separation that derek has it's 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 unreal it's really crazy it's not something you see every day it's not something you see every decade basically phil heat kind of had this but he wasn't as wide and like ronnie had it back in the day and maybe dorian also but like it's it's something you see basically every every 10 years and uh, Derek definitely has it, Hadi does not, he did improve quite a bit, but is it on this level? No, no, but, but, is it close? Well, I think it is definitely much closer than these two guys are from the front. So far, since he started competing in the open division, we haven't really seen Derek bring it from the front, I mean, look at this wheat taper, <laughs> wheat taper is just insane, but conditioning, conditioning and hardness, in this shot, for example, I mean all the front shots, really. Well, I don't know about the front double bicep, when he hits that front double with that freaking X-frame, it's hard to pay attention to the, the conditioning and details, but every other shot, you can see the lack of conditioning, of details. Especially that upper chest shoulder area, it just looks very, very soft. Really, really soft, and like arms as well. I would say quads too, I mean, they, they grew, they definitely did get bigger, but he still doesn't have that maturity, is it gonna come with age, I don't know, but like, so far, we haven't really seen Derek hard from the front, and he did destroy Hadi from the back last year, but this year, even though, again, Hadi is not as good as Derek from the back, this year, it was a lot closer, because Hadi improved in these shots significantly, I mean, look at his back double, it's very good as well, it's very, very good, it's not bad, not at all, 
the conditioning was better. I don't know if he really improved those lower lats or is it just conditioning, but they were definitely more prominent. The glutes were really separated finally. Yeah, again, those weren't uh, Derek Lansford or Phil Heath or Ronnie Coleman glutes, but they were still very, very lean. So were the hamstrings. And yeah, you could make an argument that at certain points, Samson Dauda kind of beat Hadi in the back double bicep, even though Samson is basically known for having a weak back double bicep, so if he's beating Hadi, that's definitely not a good sign, but I think it's more so that Samson made progress in the back, and also that Hadi was off at the Arnold Classic UK because he traveled like the day before the show and you know everything wasn't exactly perfect in the back uh lat spread that's not even close he absolutely killed samson in this one but as far as the back double bicep you could make an argument that samson was a little bit better if you prefer what samson has basically still Hardy did have more conditioned glutes but samson had like a super small waist with like crazy x frame you know with big like wide shoulders and crazy thick legs and like crazy sweep as well you know very very super hero cartoonish physique so yeah samson did potentially beat Hardy at certain times in back double bicep but that does not mean that Hardy did not improve his back double bicep and as I said, Derek from the front, can he ever get close to this kind of conditioning? I don't think that's ever going to happen. I don't think Derek has those kind of genetics. Now, some of the counter arguments could be that uh, maybe Derek needs more time in the gym, you know, to develop muscle maturity. But I don't believe in that too much. You know, there are a lot of guys who had the maturity when they were like 20 years old. So I don't think it has much to do with age or time in the gym. What I think it has to do with is the fact that Hadi is dispersing his body fat all over his body equally. As his glutes are coming in, so is his front part. As his back is coming in, so are his glutes, so are his hamstrings. Everything is pretty much uh, in sync. It's not the case with Samson Dauda, for example. You know that his glutes are definitely behind everything else. That's the area that comes last for Samson. It still didn't come. Hopefully one day it will. It was actually pretty decent at the Arnold Classic UK. But take a look at this shot, guys. You probably forgot. I mean, I forgot definitely how much off Samson was at the Olympia and Hardy as well, especially if you compare him to what he brought this year at the Arnold. I mean, both Samson and Hardy improved significantly in terms of conditioning. I mean, Samson here looked like he was doing a guest posing. How did he place third? It's beyond me. I mean, it's not really, I get it. It's because of his size mainly, and he was decently conditioned from the front, but like that lower body from behind, man, that looked freaking soft. I would even go as far as to say soggy right, those glutes looked soggy, I know it's stupid to say something like that about a third place finisher at the Mr. Olympia, but let's be real, I mean, that's pretty much what's going on, and then look at Hadi as well, I mean, compare this to what he brought to the Arnold Classic stage, it's night and day difference, night and day, not just the glutes, but like the hamstrings and the lower back as well, I mean, from the front as well, Hadi was in so much better conditioning at the Arnold's, and so was Samson, and then you look at Derek, and Derek made these two guys look like they're off-season. And that's why he won. I have no problem with that. He punished them for coming in off. Basically, they were off. This conditioning is not acceptable. Yeah, sure, uh, Derek was also softer from the front, but he wasn't this soft. He wasn't soggy, right? Like, these guys need to bring up their game. They need to come in shredded. And if Hardy does, if he repeats what he brought to Arnold Classic Ohio... And if Derek looks the same, then Hardy is definitely winning. But is Derek gonna look the same? That's the question. And I don't think the answer is yes. I think Derek is gonna change significantly. Look at Samson again. He was, like, he definitely progressed a lot for this year for the Arnold Classic. And if he continues progressing at the same pace, he might be the one dethroning Derek, not Hardy. That's also a very big possibility. If his new coach figures out his conditioning, and he did show a lot of hope at the Arnold Classic UK, he might come in peeled, you know, with shredded glutes. In that case, it's gonna have to be Samson. It's not gonna be Hardy or Derek. But that's kind of a wild card. We don't know if that's gonna happen. It's not very likely. As for right now, the Arnold Classic champion and the last year's Mr. Olympia winner are the two favorites. 
We'll see what's gonna happen. We got a physique update of Derek Lansford as well. But unfortunately, it's a, it's a very disappointing one. Not just because of the way he looks, but because he doesn't want to show us his physique. This is what he did last year, the entire year. He didn't show almost any physique updates, very, very few. He was always in his tank top. I don't like that. I want to see a little bit more. You know, it's, it's exciting. It's definitely creating some sort of a hype. If he doesn't show us anything and it's all like tank top photos and videos, I mean, that's pretty boring. But you can still get the idea of what he looks like right now. We don't really have to see like his chest and his abs, we can still see like the size, you know, we can see the proportions, we can see the conditioning kind of in the legs, in the, in, in the arms, in the lats and a little bit of the shoulders and upper chest and basically, you know, he doesn't look like he's really forcing progression right now, he looks like he's taking it easy still, which does surprise me, I was expecting him to start pushing things like a month ago, because, again, there isn't too much time left. Mr. Olympia is, this year it's earlier, so it's in 6 months, that's basically 24 weeks, a little bit more than that. Usually, these big guys, they take longer to prep, not just 16 weeks, like most of us. Usually, they go with, like, I don't know, 20 weeks. Maybe Derek doesn't need that much, maybe he gets ready faster, but did he start growing? I don't know, I don't think so. I remember last year when he was doing a mass cycle, he was freaking... he was blowing up. He was round, he looked like a freaking circle. I mean, he was so freaking big, his legs were super freaking wide and like really massive. He looked enormous. Now, he looks underwhelming, for sure. So if he didn't start pushing mass so far, is he even going to? Or is he happy with the mask that he had at the Mr. Olympia and he's gonna try to simply polish it, come in like maybe a little bit more conditioned and that's it? Maybe he's done adding muscle. He recently became a father, so maybe he's like more conscious of his health and he wants to, you know, he doesn't want to push things and risk things, so that's it. We're not gonna see an improved version of Derek in terms of size at least. And the thing with Derek is, in my opinion, his problem was the inability to push for conditioning because of the mass of his legs, especially. Let's take a look at this photo again. So his legs were definitely bigger than they were last year, but were they still like super massive? I mean, they were like just big enough. They were definitely not dominant legs. Hadi's legs were definitely much bigger. So if he pushed to get that crazy conditioning in the upper chest and the shoulders and the whole front part, he would definitely lose a lot of leg fullness, which he couldn't afford. And I was hoping that this year he's gonna add a lot more tissue to those legs and like everywhere, so he can actually afford to go all the way to dig really deep. But I guess that's not really the plan. I guess Derek is not gonna be that much improved, maybe I'm mistaking, maybe he's gonna make some crazy progress in the next two months or so, but I doubt it, and the way things are looking right now, I have Hadi winning the Mr. Olympia and regaining his title, of course, unless Samson brings something insane, but as far as Derek and Hadi, yeah, I think Hadi is definitely way more driven, and I think he's gonna make more progress now, probably even more than Derek, and he's gonna come in completely shredded, back to front, and yeah, I think he's gonna beat Derek at the Mr. Olympia this year, and I don't think we're gonna see like a super improved version of Derek Lansford, but I could be wrong, whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys, thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best, and bye-bye.